Let's get right to it. SQL is the most ubiquitous language used in existence. It's the gold standard when working with data in the real world. Right now, most real world machine learning models are being sourced from databases. All databases speak SQL. You won't get a data related role without being fluent in SQL, and that means in machine learning. Recall that the two most common models seen in the real world are classification and regression on structured data. That structured data is housed in databases. As a machine learning engineer, most of your work will be sourcing and then cleaning that raw data. In the real world, we don't download nicely cleaned CSV files from the internet to model. In the real world, data is dirty and working with it sucks. For those just starting out, a common question is, how much SQL do I need to know? The honest answer is that it depends on the role, but there's a baseline knowledge all companies are going to want you to have. When technical people talk about SQL, there are two components. There's the code side, and then there's the administration side. As a machine learning engineer, you won't need to worry about the administration side. The only thing you might need to do is to download and install the interface for the database interface the company is using. For example, I work with SQL Server, which is Microsoft's database. If you're doing any work with SQL Server, you're going to need to download and install the interface called SSMS, or SQL Server Management Studio. If you take my course on LogicBot, you'll have all the SQL you need. For machine learning engineers, most of the time you're going to be working with the code itself. And most of the time it's going to be working with DML, or Database Manipulation Language. Yes, you're going to need to know what all these acronyms are, and what the two types of SQL code are. If you don't know, go ahead and Google it, or take my course on LogicBot. All right, let's continue. The only DML statement you're going to be working with is the SELECT statement. This command is used to read data. The other DML commands are update, delete, and insert. No sane company is going to give you those rights, so I wouldn't worry about it. Now, data is in-house in one single table, so you're going to need to understand how most common joins work. You'll need to know how data is related in tables. You're going to need to know how to join tables that don't have the correct keys. You're going to need to know how to use the WHERE clause. The good news is, all this knowledge can be obtained from an entry-level SQL class. If you want to work in a data-related role and don't know SQL, then get to work. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And have a great day. We'll see you soon.